A couple weeks ago, I made a video titled Glitter Frost Sucks Actually, and something I think a bunch of people missed is the little star at the end, which was my favorite joke in the entire video, but oh well. It led to the description uh, where I left a clarification where I said, for now, and well, here we are, 30th of December at the time of writing, discussing if it still sucks, finishing thoughts, if you may. Anyways, my names will be pronouns are he, him, and welcome back to the channel. I am so glad to have you here. Before we start the main program, here's a quick word about my best friend, Sonichka. Hi everyone, before the start of the video, please, 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 please listen to what I have to say. My friend Sonia has a small business on Etsy called SC Starry World Shop. She makes these absolutely ad adorable YDK accessories and they're all very reasonably priced. Her shop, SC Starry World, has a very good rating and over 100 orders already. And the reviews are all very positive. So please, if you're interested in these adorable earrings like the ones you see on screen right now, go to Etsy. Z Starry World Shop on Etsy and place your order. The link to the shop will be in left in the description below. Okay, so Glitter Frost. We can separate the update into four main categories. Map, gameplay, items, events. As usual, the Royal High devs are awesome at it. The map is absolutely stunning. Tons of fun details and easter eggs like the timber badge and whatnot. Super cool. My only complaint is that I wish they'd include more cultures in the map. Example, a, ta a table dedicated to Hanukkah with a souvganiot, a table for Kwanzaa candle, etc. These details are super small but would help everyone feel included. That aside though, I'll rate the map as well a 9 out of 10 because of how beautiful it is. Now, gameplay. Oh boy. There is none. There is nothing to do, as always. I'm not even sure what to include here. I mean, we got two seasonal quests. One is to light up the castle, which I absolutely love. Second is to sing carols to the Christmas tree and our neighbors. Words cannot express how much I hate the carol one. It's not even a reasonable hate for it, I just personally find caroling annoying. I totally see how others might like it, but personally, not for me. I'd be more or less okay with it, though, if the carol sang was beautiful and whatnot. I mean, I understand music is subjective, but I constantly move my camera as far away as I humanly can because of how the singer sang it is so irritating. I have to agree, it might be someone's cup of tea, it's a gag, but definitely not mine. Also, I generally hate quests which are like, go there and stand for X amount of times while ho holding Y item. It's annoying, it's boring, and it's stupid. The perfect example uh, of such a quest is the Carolyn, Carolyn quest, the uh, like study sesh quests, they're boring. Okay, so Carolyn and light up trees aside, what else is there? Um, uh, I guess there are the two easter eggs. Spend 5 minutes flying while trying to not get an epileptic seizure for 300 experience points and get the whole server to knock down a tree. You guys understand that that's not exactly what I meant when I said we need more gameplay, right? These are fun for what they're worth, easter eggs. But other than them, there's nothing to do. <laughs> I'd like a mini game for the season, perhaps, because genuinely, I, 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 I don't even know what to write here. I'll rate a gameplay at two out of ten. Two points for light up the castle because I like that quest. It's fun to run around and search for candles you didn't light up yet. Now, items. This is an easy eight out of ten. I made a video about it already, and it's all the same points. The items are stunning, toggles are awesome, ideas are unique and cool. My only complaint is, of course, I don't want to look like a twink all dressed up as a boy. That's it. Until the scaling system is out, I will not shut up about that. The advent final gift was especially cool for me. I really like the sweaters, and the one they made is simply adorable. So yeah, cool items overall. Events. My Slavic ass is not happy. Sure, you can take away Christmas Town. Fine. You can take away the mini game with Santa and decorating the Christmas tree. Whatever. You didn't add any gameplay to the map. Sure. 
However, you do not, under any circumstance, take away my Slavic joy of New Year and replace it by Valentine's Day. Never! Okay, comically over dramatic rant over um, time to be serious. I'm upset, sure. I do kind of understand that they might have not have enough time to bring back their, uh, you know, New Year update. Maybe they didn't want to bring back the recycled look. I understand. It's fine. Uh, but really upsetting to me. And as I said, Advent calendar was fine, so no complaints there. I will rate this a 5 out of 10 because one event is literally missing and the other one is awesome. So total points, 9 plus 2 plus 8 plus 5, I rate the whole Glitter Frost event a total of 24 out of 40 points. Does Glitter Frost suck? Yeah, it sucks. Maybe sucks less than before, but sucks. My opinion is said, it's out there. So what about you? Tell me your opinion. I am completely up for open discussions in the comments and I try to read as many as I possibly can. Um, thanks for watching, it's Novim Rokom, stay safe and healthy. Mwah.